get excited shooting some pretty rough elements. Yeah, that's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. If there was no wind. Actually, our last precision rifle weekend, there was very minimal wind, which was nice. But then also the people didn't get to gather too much data, right? So this weekend, you're going to get to gain a ton of data on your rifles. So who's shooting 556? Five, five, Raise your hand. Hold it high. One, two. I thought that was more than that. Oh, nice. It'll be really fun for you guys. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so precision rifle mechanics today and then precision rifle team tomorrow. Today, we really want to arm you guys with a strong foundation and then build on that tomorrow when we get tons and tons and tons of reps. So one thing we see all the time in this precision world is everybody gets real caught up in the grouping. Grouping, 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 grouping. Grouping is great. It's super important, right? Very important to be good at because it shows you're consistent. But there's so many factors that go into it. We're not going to spend hours on it today. We're going to spend very minimal time on it because really to be a true marksman, you need to know where the hell the round's going to go at these different distances, right? Yeah, that's going to be our focus. Hey, bud. Hey, bud. Awesome. Well, should we get into the fundamentals? trying to square myself generally pretty in line with the rifle, right? So if my target is out there, I don't want to be over here. Does that make sense? So I'm not trying to be offset like this. It's gonna be less consistent and I'm not gonna be able to make very quick follow on shots like that. So getting straight directly behind the rifle right here. I am going and I'm taking these bipod legs and I'm going to actually push them into the dirt and push forward into the gun. This is gonna help keep this movement between the stock and my shoulder here so it's actually pressed up in between. Otherwise that recoil is gonna bounce and it's gonna throw my scope way off the target. I want as minimal recoil as possible so when I go and I shoot my round, I can keep my scope generally on that target or somewhere around it, right? Depending on your caliber, it's gonna change. If you have a really snappy caliber, it might throw you up off the target, but you, want, you still wanna be close so that way you can observe your impact. It's really not that complicated. All you need to be able to do is be a marksman and be consistent and then figure out the data. We're gonna figure out the data later. Now we're gonna check on our body position and our trigger manipulation. So we've got six targets out there for you guys. They're between one and 200 yards between one and 200 yards, so not that complex. So in the further ones, you might want to favor a little bit towards the top of the target, maybe. Those 12 inch plates are a decent size, right? So maybe a little bit for John Carlo, he's shooting a 5.56 five, for the rest of you guys. Honestly, I wouldn't even worry too much about it. You can see how they're at various stations, right? They're not all in line. So what we want you guys to do, we'll have you on the timer, stand by, then whoever will go Rick first, because you're on the left. Rick, you'll be up. You'll shoot targets one, two, three, four, five, and six in that order. So do yourself a favor, really focus on your body position, right? I get it. You might be able to just do this, shoot it, and come back. But really pay attention to what your reticle is doing. So target one, shift body. Steady pressure, bang, follow through. Reticle came back to the same position. Beautiful. Target two, we'll go through everybody a couple times. See, he'll adjust his body. Like let's say Kenny's the target. I'm shooting at Blake right now. Ping, target two. I'll adjust my body, look over top of the optic, then I'll get into the glass. We don't want you guys looking through the glass, meaning down the scope the entire time. It's gonna be very difficult to find the target. So readjust your shooting position, get into the glass, and your target will be in the glass, right? Oh no, target three is Alex. Readjust my shooting position, get into the glass, and then he's gonna be there. So we're gonna to start to hone in those fundamentals. So then later and tomorrow, we're dialed away. One of the most common problems we see is looking through the scope the entire time. It's gonna be extremely difficult, extremely difficult. 
All right, so go ahead, get on your rifles, have all your magazines loaded, and then we'll get started when they get back up range. Stand by. Hit. Target two. You really adjust the whole body position, whole body position. Hit. Target three. See how he's looking over top the optic, then he gets down on it? Hit, target four. Hit, target five. Hit, target six. Hit, target seven. Hit, target eight. Hit, all right, 59. I'll, I'll just do one more time. How's it going y'all? Devin here from Tactical Cowboy and I got Coda. He's our tactical mascot. Always go with the lab. Always go with the lab. They're the best dogs. Get out of here, bud. Oh, he's blocking us. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I want to say thank you so much for watching our video. We really appreciate your support. If you guys would like to, please subscribe to the channel. Why do I say that? Because it helps support us, right? We're growing and growing and growing and growing and we're bringing all the best training to you guys. So, oh, dog butt, dog butt. We're bringing all the best training to you guys, so the more subscribers we got, the better it helps. Also, like the video, comment on it, comment about how cute Coda is, comment about how noisy Isaac is, comment about my teeth, whatever. And yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for the support. Have a good one.